G'day family, I'm um, just coming on briefly to encourage everybody that I truly believe we are probably about to go home. Now I know we've all said that before, we've all felt that same uh, closeness of the hour before, but there are some converging things now that really point to this being it. I mean, so many of us believe that we can't go past 2025. In fact, we were thinking we couldn't go past 2024. Um, but there were varying reasons why our math was slightly out. Uh, I like Mike's most recent video. He is very firm on his current date for a big event of some description. Uh, 16 through 26th of March. Now, it's also the head of the year, as Mike has identified on his calendar. Uh, something interesting in Mike's recent video, he noted that there seems to be a count going for, if you watch his video, for Jesus and one for Pentecost, and the difference is 75 days. I left a comment on his video saying that it is also interesting that the difference between 1260 and 1335, those day counts mentioned in the Bible, is 75 days. That could add weight to the fact that we do have consecutive timelines going at the same time. And it seems very logical for that to be the case in my mind. Now we have mentioned in the past uh this goes back a little bit I, I even took a picture of it some time ago of eclipses that we have coming up in 2025 and depending on your location we have a blood moon eclipse on march 14. now if we come over to our feed Jarrett over here at Supernatural by Design who is basically the forefront of, of uh, the sort of celestial research stream and matching it to uh, biblical events. Jarrett is also looking in his recent video at that very eclipse on the, 13th, on the 14th to 15th of March which is one day before M Mike's March 16th which is where we have the head of the year change it would make sense to me now for this to be it uh, I'm not sure what the 26th of March could represent 10 days later perhaps there is a rapture tribulation gap of some description it does appear in our ponderings over the last one or two years that that could well be the case so if you have a look at my channel uh going back i don't know maybe two years 12 months i'm not sure exactly i went through a bit of a phase where i was hyper focused on the book of esther and i came to the conclusion definitively that there were keys to the rapture and the end times in that book um we've all studied it uh, now um, as time has passed and we can see the the correlations between you know what the Jews are going to face during the tribulation and um, how they will be saved out of it uh, and all those typologies are found in the book of Esther Jarrett over at Supernatural by Design has continued to focus on Esther and you know what can I say you, you, you can't put out a video that could uh, trump what what Jarrett does he's, a, he's an expert in his particular stream of research but I find it so interesting that this blood moon is occurring right before the head of the year change you know come back to this but why was the 14th significant with a total lunar eclipse if you don't know, I want you to go back and watch these two previous videos about 32 AD. But nonetheless, back to my main point about the story of Esther and its relationship to this trigger point. Jeremiah 49. I won't play any more of uh, Jarrett's video. Um, go over there and have a look for yourself. But the things that we see occurring in the world at the moment, 
as far as war goes around Israel. The connections to Donald Trump and his term in office. It now makes perfect sense why he wasn't elected last time. There had to be that gap for this time period to line up perfectly now so that he can do what he needs to do, as in what God has put Donald Trump in office to do. And that isn't M-A-G-A, I can tell you. So guys, stay encouraged. I still believe that we are going to see a surprise event of birth before travail. So if will we go before March 16? Now, Jared is always looking for war. That's what he believes the job of a watchman is, to look for war. And in doing so, he is by proxy looking for the rapture because he believes that they're going to occur pretty much simultaneously. I don't think we're going to see any of the tribulation. And given that I believe there'll be a slight gap between rapture and tribulation, I think that fits in perfectly with birth before travail. So I am still staying very, very focused every single day. And I do expect, in accordance with Jarrett and Mike's la uh, latest videos, that we will see some huge developments in the next couple of months. God bless everybody.